How to create a color changing text animation effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6. Inside your projects edit window, go to effects, underneath toolbox select titles, click on text plus and drag one of these edits to your timeline. By default this particular text edit will play at 24 frames per second. Click on the go to previous edits button to ensure that your red playhead goes back to the start of this edit. With this text tool selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appearing on your screen. Select your desired font. Here in this example, I will choose Cooper Black and adjust the size as necessary. Here in this example, I will increase the value of this property to 0.3. Depending on what color you wish for your text to be at the start of your animation, double click on the box next to the color property. Use the new window which appears to select the color of your text. Here in this example, rather than selecting from the basic color palette, I will manually type in the hex decimal code hash 04007C to add a dark blue shade to my text. I will also highlight and copy this code for later use by holding in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and pressing C. Click OK once you're done. Select Layer underneath Title in Inspector. Double click on the black box next to Color and choose the colour that you wish to have behind your text. Here in this example I will choose white. Should you wish for transparency to remain around your text, ensure that the red, green, blue and alpha values are all set to zero underneath background. Return to the text properties. On my edit timeline, with the red playhead positioned at the very start of this text edit, I will select the keyframe diamond icon next to the colour property which will make up the first phase of my animated text color changing effect. The default duration of the text plus edit is 5 seconds. My intention is to have the text change to red at the halfway point of this edit and revert back to the dark blue shade that I initially applied at the very first frame, once the 5 second mark is reached. I will therefore drag my red playhead to the halfway point which is 2 seconds and 11 frames in. Hold and K and tap L or hold and K and tap J to shift the red playhead right and left by one frame respectively for more precise playhead positioning. With the text plus edit still selected, I will go to double click on the color box once again under text in inspector. And this time I will go to select one of the vibrant red presets available in the basic colors menu. The code for this one is hash FF0000. Click OK. And finally, I will reposition the red playhead at the final frame of my text plus edit. Here in this case, 4 seconds and 23 frames in. I will now reopen the text color box and will paste the previously copied code making up the dark blue shade, which I initially applied to the first frame in this text plus edit. Do this by holding in control and pressing V in the HTML box. Click OK. What if you wanted the color changing animation to continue beyond the default length of your text plus edit? Using the selection mode tool once again, I will click on the right side of the text plus edit and drag my mouse cursor to the right to expand the length of this edit to 10 seconds in total. At present the text stays blue after the 5 second mark. In order to make the conversion to red and then back to blue repeat, right click on text plus and go to open infusion page. Select Spline, click on the box next to Template to reveal the red, green, blue and alpha values displayed on the grid alongside. Click and drag the grid size cursors on the top side to the left and reset the frame pointer to zero at the start of your text plus edit so that you can see the blocks representing the keyframes that make up your animated text effect. Click and drag your mouse cursor over these to select them. Then click on the Set Loop option below. Now your text color changing animation will repeat regardless of the length of your text plus edit. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.